Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. <laughs> <laughs> and today... This is, this is going so well. <laughs> today, uh, on, on another adventure of Bourbon Kingdom, we are reviewing uh, Booker's uh, 2021 Batch 3, also known as the Bardstown Batch. Yeah, so we have been so backed up with really great bottles to review. We uh, had this bottle for a while, and we're like, oh, yeah. You know, we still kind of got to review this one. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, so really quick, uh, the Bardstown Batch is the 2021-03. Uh, it's made by Jim Beam. It's a six and a half year. It's 125.5 proof. The mash will have no clue about. And they go for a whopping, like, 90 bucks. So pretty much the same as everybody else. And there's a real nice story with it that Dave read all about. Before we start the video, so Dave, you want to share? Uh, I'm going to just summarize it in a real quick way. Sounds about uh, right. Jim Beam bought a house in Bardstown. His son grew up in said house. Son now lives in said house. And uh, this batch reminds him of home. And that's about it. Cheers. Cheers. So he says, it's a beautiful should, story. he says you should enjoy this with friends and family, and so uh, that's what we'll do. We'll enjoy it. Will we? Let's just go to the review. <laughs> we're going to enjoy it. Hey, now we were having this conversation before. Yes, we did not like the first batch at all. Second batch wasn't the worst thing in the world. And Little Book, you know, it wasn't bad. You know. Kind of. Is it bourbon of the year contender, maybe? No, probably not. No, probably, no, not. probably not. Probably not. So. ton of brown sugar. I get that apple that apple in there, too. I'm a, yeah. I think I think my, my nose gets drawn to apple all the time. Uh, I mean, it doesn't. Uh, it's not bad. No. I don't, I don't think that's bad at all. It has a little bit of like a cracker note to it, like a little bit of a, like a, I don't know if it's cracker, like a dry bread note to it. The apple's faint, but it's there. Not really a lot of like caramel, but there's like a sweet part to there that I don't... There's, there's definitely... There's something a, there, but it, I, don't, I don't see it like being like a caramel or a chocolate... Yeah. Or something like that, but there's something sweet. I feel like it's very spice heavy. Yeah, that's a ton of spice. Yeah, very spice heavy. But once that dissipates a bit, it honestly has a has a good kind of like a good sweetness uh, to it that is not unpleasant. I'm like. It's not bad, but I mean, you've really got to get past that baking spice on the front. Yeah, there is a ton of spice on that. Uh, there's also a lot of ginger, like a gingerbread almost, like a soft gingerbread cookie. Yeah, I think that's where that. like all that sweetness comes in. There's, there's a little fruit in there, a little... Now, I will say after having that, I, I wasn't getting this on the nose. I'm getting a little bit of that nuttiness, you know, that standard kind of Jim Beam nuttiness mm -hmm. that we get. I wasn't getting that on, on the nose up front, but I started getting that. Really, after that first sip. Yeah. I mean, now I can't shake that. I think that's hilarious how that happens sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you you get some some in there, because I think in some of the Advent reviews, I'd smell something, and you'd be like, no, nah, I don't smell that at all. I'm like, that's all I smell. Yeah. That iron root that was sour as can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the oak also stands out a lot more on that second sip. That spice, though, is so overwhelming. <clears throat> it is. It's just so much spice. There's a smidge of char on there, a smidge of oak. But, man, it's... The nose, I actually think, is pretty decent on this. Pretty good. Um, but, man, it's just that palate. It's just... These palettes seem to be so one-sided of what they are yeah. with these Booker batches. And it's... You know, I mean, if you like it, you like it. But... There's just not a whole lot like that finish. It's very full body. You get a lot of that spice, a lot of baking spice, but you just don't get a ton else. Like yeah. you do get, a, like I said earlier, there's still like that soft gingerbread cookie part of it that's there, which is nice. 
I just don't feel like there's a ton there. It's a full, is, and it's a long finish, honestly. Like sitting here, it it well, this is our first pour of the day too. Yeah, that is true. So. For me, it's like it's staying there. Like I feel it all in my yeah. throat. I really do enjoy the snow though. It, it's yeah, a, no, it the is, nose I I really enjoy too because there was a sweetness to the nose that. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is going to sound a little crazy. There's a little bit of like that sweetness of like a Buffalo Trace product, like a little bit of that sweet fruit kind of nose that you'll get, yeah. just like a hint of it. It's not, it's not anything close to that. Yeah. There's a hint of that on mm. the nose. I wish this nose was the same as Palak's. Man, yeah. this would be, this would be amazing. <clears throat> it's got a little bit too much spice for me, but there is a solid taste behind it. Which um yeah which I'm I'm happy with I just it's hard to get past that initial spice kick that that throws in there and so I mean this would be the best of the three batches so far um, but again it's not racing against real horses it's like a horse <laughs> a horse yeah. versus like I don't know two elephants or something I don't know whatever seems slow the no it, here sloth. here's how here's two slow this is a great way to sum it up this fall nose I think it's great palate if you like a lot of spice yeah. a lot of baking spice mm -hmm. you know like i said earlier i like that uh, that little bit of soft gingerbread cooking out yeah um and a little bit of nuttiness that's kind of your thing and just a very full rich finish yeah. like that's just what it is but it's not there's not really anything else with it it'd be better if it was balanced yeah, it's very. It's not. It's not balanced at it'd be, all. I think it'd be really good if it was balanced. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's very off balance. This is actually a really great example of something that if it just was more balanced, it'd yeah. be better. Yeah, for sure. Um, so for me, it would be a pass for ninety bucks. Um, yeah, I think it's a pass for me too. Unless like I'm just like a real hardcore fan of just a lot of heavy spice. Yeah. Uh, then I would definitely try it. But for ninety bucks, that's the problem, man. Ninety bucks. Like it's just so much money that it really you know, is. You don't need so. Nope. But anyways, all right, let's get yeah. us out of here. Uh, oh, wait, actually, beforehand, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Yep, there so. you go. Yeah, Till next time, we'll see you. See ya.